So not long now till it all kicks off, which doesn't leave us much time for the injured soccer players to get up to speed. Uh, barring major problems, the likes of Harry Kuehl, Mark Bresciano, Brett Emerton and Vince Grella will be on the plane to South Africa, despite not being fully fit for their clubs. However, this isn't a concern for the Blackburn duo of Emerton and Grella, who see it more as an advantage. Chris Ford caught up with them. Just outside of Blackburn, there's a small village that's home to Blackburn Rovers training ground. Outside, there's a small sculpture that marks the spot where a Premier League team train. Funnily enough, there's two Socceroos inside, aiming to prove to Pimver Bake that they're not rusty ahead of this year's World Cup. Yeah, I think, uh, obviously, you want to be playing as much football as you can leading into the World Cup, but um, if you look at it on a positive note, then maybe those players are, are getting that little bit of rest that their, their bodies require, and uh, hopefully um, we've still got a lot of preparation time going leading into the World Cup so we can get ourselves right and make sure we're 100% fit for the first game. What would be a successful World Cup campaign for the Socceroos in South Africa? I think our country's still growing and, and uh, as players who have been uh, involved in that growth, we, uh, we look to the World Cup as another chance to uh, put Australia on that international map and uh, remind uh, the people out there how good our players are. If we go back to the Germany World Cup, we were, before the World Cup everyone was saying how tough our group was, so uh, I, don't, I don't think there is an easy group. And um, a lot's going to have to do with the, the physical condition of, of the squad come the World Cup. If our key players are fit and healthy come, come the World Cup, I think we have a great chance. I think um, expectations are high. I think um, as far as the players are concerned, we'd like to progress at least to the second round. Um, anything from then on, realistically, is, is a bonus, but um, I think in world football these days, there's no nobody we should really fear. Uh, I think uh, on on our day we can compete with the best teams in the world. So why can't we go there and, and be very successful? Brett and Vince have seen managers change at Blackburn Rovers, with Sam Allardyce coming in for Paul Ince 18 months ago. They know there will soon be a change in managers for the Socceroos too, with Pim Verbeek leaving after the World Cup. He's done a great job and. I think all the players wish him uh, all, the, all the best when, when the World Cup is finished and he, he goes where he has to go. Um, you know, I think everyone's concentrating on doing a good job in the World Cup and, and, and Pim will, will be leading that concentration. Like Vinny said, um, I don't think it makes a difference to, to how we're going to perform at the World Cup. Everyone's just looking forward to it. Everyone's going to go there, give 100% and um, do the best that we possibly can. With disruption to the national team to come, having a fellow countryman and stability at club level has been good for both players this season. We've known each other since the, the, the Institute of Sport days, so you're going back a long time ago. So um, it's, it is good to have someone that you've known for a long time, uh, especially when the, the times aren't going so great. It's always good to have someone close by that, that you know, you've known for such a long time. Do you room together when you when you're away with the national squad, or have you had enough of them by then? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we don't room together. But um, no, like I say, um, no, it's good to have Vinny here. More Aussies the better, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so if we can get a few more here, yeah, that would be great. But um, no, like I say, it's uh, unfortunate since Vinny's here, we haven't played as much as we would have liked together on the path. But uh, hopefully, that'll change in the future. Also to come in the future is a World Cup bid, which both players are more than happy to throw their weight behind. As a country, uh, Australia has everything to host the World Cup. Uh, we have the support from the, from the government. Our federation is growing into a very strong organ organisation. Um, we have great stadiums, we have uh, public transport, we have great hotels. Uh, friendly people, uh, we have everything to host the World Cup. Unfortunately, we don't get to decide, otherwise it will be a simple decision. Hopefully uh, they look upon us and give us a chance.
Brett, by the time 2018, 2022 comes around, you, you won't be playing, you'll probably be retired. W would you be interested in, in taking on some sort of role that helps bring the World Cup to Australia? Yeah, 100%. Um, anything I could do personally to help get the World Cup to Australia, I would, I'd love to be involved. Um, I mean, even as far as um, playing some football at the end of my career, back in the A-League, uh, it's something I'm very interested in doing and uh, just uh, really looking forward actually to giving something back to, to football in Australia and making it as uh, big and as, as great a sport in Australia as possible. Paul, how vital are, are both of those men to the Socceroos side and, and campaign in South Africa? Um, they're very, very important. Uh, they're two of the most experienced players uh, that we have. Um, and uh, interesting to he hear Brett's comments about um, uh, them not being really worried that they haven't played too much football. Um, I'm not too sure. I think that um, uh, you know, going into an important tournament uh, uh, like we are, you know, you, you want to be, you know, you want to have as many players in your starting lineup to, to have played regular football. And unfortunately for those two boys, um, they haven't managed to do that. Um, you know, Vinny is, uh, he, he's the man in the middle of the park that makes it tick. He does a lot of work that goes unnoticed and, and Brett's a very flexible player. He can play it right back, right midfield. He can even slot in at, at, in, in centre midfield. So if Pim wants to change things around, um, he becomes very, very important to, to be able to do that. Can they both get up to speed ahead of the World Cup? I mean, Grella, for instance, has played a full 90 minutes just eight times this year. I mean, that, that's, that's not enough football in the legs or in the mind, I wouldn't have thought. Well, I've got the same concerns as Paul just mentioned. Uh, the, if they are going to get up to speed, they need to pretty much play in every game that's available to them up until then. And even, even if they do that, I think it's only uh, four, five or six games. Uh, so not an ideal situation, but they are two very important players in our squad and we need them to be involved um, because we need all the experience we can get. Pim Verbeek will have to juggle this Socceroos squad, will he not? He'll have to know when to rest the, the older players, when to bring them in, when to bring in the youngsters, uh, uh, potentially a vital moment, will he not? It's going to be a, a, a huge juggling act for him. Um, it's a, a difficult job and, and I think from the second to the third game there's only a four day turnaround so I would imagine that there'd be a handful of players, uh, the, certainly the ones in, in their 30s that are going to find it difficult to, uh, to back up and, and I, that's where um, Pim's going to have to earn his money. Um, you know, there are some young players, are they going to be ready to step up? Um, we may need to you know, get a result to, to, to qualify. So um, you know, a lot of pressure uh, on, on someone like Pim, but uh, I'm sure he's uh, you know, capable of coming up with the right selections.